And ever since we learned Rich was a DNC staffer, the conspiracy theories online have taken a life of their own. But today, Fox 5 has learned there is new information that could prove these theorists are, in fact, right. New information from the family's private investigator suggests there is tangible evidence on Seth Rich's laptop that confirms he was communicating with WikiLeaks prior to his death. Now, the question is, why has D.C. police, as the lead agency on the investigation for the past 10 months, insisted this was a botched robbery when till this day there is no evidence to suggest that. The Rich family hired Rod Wheeler, a former MPD homicide detective, to run a parallel investigation into their son's death. Wheeler says he believes there's a cover-up and the police department has been told to back down from the investigation. The police department, nor the FBI, has been forthcoming. They haven't been cooperating at all. I believe that the answer to solving his death lies on that computer, which I believe is either at the police department or either at, at the FBI. I've been told both. But you have sources at the FBI saying that there is information For that sure. could link Seth Rich to WikiLeaks? Absolutely. I was there when he got shot, and... Uh, he walked, they walked in past me so I could see him and identify him if I knew him in the neighborhood. And the police officer said he didn't even know he was shot. Seth Rich's neighbor, Mark Muller, who was listed on the police report, was at the scene when Rich was murdered on July 10th of last year. The eyewitness, as you heard, made a shocking statement at the vigil for the late DNC employee and WikiLeaker, where Debbie Wasserman Schultz was in attendance. The witness confirms that he was there when Seth Rich was shot and that police told him Seth didn't even know he was shot. The police report confirms not only that Seth Rich was shot, but he was badly beaten. The police report says that Seth Rich was conscious and communicating with police at the scene, yet now witnesses say Seth Rich didn't even know that he was shot. The first thing police officers are trained to ask at a shooting is, who shot you? Obviously, the response here was something like, who's been shot? And this is why we've never even seen the slightest information about a suspect released to the public. No sketch, no still images from the thousands of surveillance cameras in Washington, D.C. The suspects just vanished without a trace. Now, there are many things about this Seth Rich case that don't make sense, but what we do know here is that crimes are linked to a motive. And given that Seth Rich was the DNC wiki leaker, Hillary and company not only had the motive, but they had the intent, according to the Podesta files. The most likely scenario here was that Seth was drugged at the bar that he last visited on that fateful night. And after leaving that bar, Seth Rich was tracked down and beaten by black hatters from the DNC, interrogated, and shot and left for dead near his home to send a message. Remember, nothing was stolen from Seth Rich, but chances are they were searching for something. We are just two months short.